Guys, Atlas here with uh, another Last Stand video. Um, I think I'm really kind of doing this wrong. Um, I brought Aaron and he has uh, a primed armor on him. Um, I think that's really not the way to go because you end up lighting a lot of guys on fire that are close to you and breaking down your wall. So other than that, um, it's a pretty decent strategy. I actually have a um, Devil's Torch on Carol so she can shoot and burn guys that aren't in her stun wall here. And a shooter or I suppose a second hunter with another Devil's Torch or something like that. Uh, but the main uh, feature of this team, with Carol in the lead and T-Dog in the second spot, is that with the Riot Shield, T-Dog can keep bringing stunnable walkers in close so that you can perform um, form this protective little blanket around you. Now, I'm actually about to get... Yeah, I'm about to get... Uh, probably grabbed by these guys, but you can see this has lasted for quite a long ways um, Since I got so many guys burning next to me. I've had to pretty regularly use uh, Med kit on T-Dog because he's smacking all these burning guys um, And Basically with this strategy if you wanted to use a couple flares to help keep some of the Heavy walkers away from you you could I'll do that now just because um, we're gonna we're gonna try and occupy some of these guys I guess uh, yeah. and um, if depending on how you know dedicated you want to be with blowing tools you could keep this going for quite a ways um, T-Dog creates a nice little blankie around you so um, with Aaron you can kind of try and light the specials on fire which I've kind of uh, the tanks, I should say, it's the, the non-stunnable folk <laughs> on fire. Um, that's pretty much his job. And cripple them so they don't get close to you so fast. Uh, yeah. Want him to stay up there. I don't know why I brought Cat on Carol, I just wasn't paying attention. So, yeah, apologies. Uh, uh, oh yeah, okay. Let's do you and cripple you and
So somebody, one of these guys is going to. I have another. Yeah, I guess I could toss another grenade just to get rid of those guys. And then cripple him so he doesn't jump me. Keep an eye out for. I mean, you gotta you gotta burn some guys just to keep people from dying because if you get too many walkers on the field at a time, your your run will end automatically. Um. So every once in a while, I'm gonna I'm just gonna pop out a blast to try and burn a few guys, even if there's no, you know tanks on the field. Sometimes it can take a bit to get this set up um, without burning your wall, uh, but that is the goal, to hopefully not burn your wall. That guy's going to die, so I'm not worried about him. Uh, anybody like that guy can't really get to me. I think I could pretty much just burn all those guys up there since they can't really get to me. But see, if I didn't have um, prime trait, then I wouldn't have burned that guy. Because ideally, I don't want to burn the guys on my wall. I want to form a wall around. Without burning them. Uh, but you get the idea. I, I hope. Alright. So if you get this set up properly, you could pretty much go on forever. I need to start burning some of these guys too, just because my map's gonna get over one run here pretty quick. Try and shoot some guys pretty far out. Uh, but the MVP combo here is uh, Carol and T-Dog together. Because she pretty much keeps him charged. And if for whatever reason uh, you fail to get charged on a round, that's the time you want to drop a flare or a stun grenade to protect yourself. Because it's rare. I mean, my T-Dog is not even that high rarity. I think he's, I don't know, maybe he got a couple pink stars at most. 
Um, <clears throat> but oh, once you hit wave 40 that's when they start spawning from all sides and that's when the elite walkers start coming um, as far as I know there's nothing special about them except that they got a lot more HP they're a little tougher This guy here. It was level six. Yeah, they got a lot of HP. <laughs> and keep an eye on T Dog's health because when he starts to get too low, you're gonna want to drop a. Uh, med kit on him. Like I said, you can make this go a lot faster and keep your score a lot higher if you start throwing grenades every so often. I'm not really trying to get like mega top score, but uh, I could if I wanted to just start blowing some tools. Oh, I might note too that I don't have any badges on my T-Dog right now. I have two sets for him, one offense and one defense. Um, and I tend to like offensive badges on him, but for this exact setup right here, I don't want an offensive T-Dog because then he breaks down his wall faster. So I don't want any offense, so that's why I didn't have any badges on him. He serves just fine without any badges. See if he gets. Oh, they finally killed Aaron. Well, I'm gonna keep going anyway, just cuz. Uh, I'm gonna get overrun a lot faster now because I can't burn as many guys with Carol alone. But without Aaron breaking down my stun wall, I might. That might last longer. Yeah, but people are getting crazy high scores. They're doing stuff like this, and then they're just throwing a lot of tools. They probably have a little better setup than I do. Playing it a little smarter than I am, but... Uh, this is the, the gist of it.
All right. Give it a try, guys. Good luck and uh, GG.